to prep some stuff up and show you how to take care of your wooden tools, all right? But before we do that, we are actually gonna be making some eggs in the quick cooker. And I forgot to bring out my little instructions because I always have to read my instructions from the quick cooker, all right? So let me angle this down. This is a quick cooker. It's a Pampered Chef Instapot, all right? And we're gonna be making our eggs in here. Uh, I do have the, this is a stainless steel baskets that go inside. So if you want to steamer baskets, these are the perfect things to steam your veggies in here. Uh, let's take this off. It, it does turn on, open and close from here. Has a release button over here. The little button pops up when it's come to pressure. There's a lot of safety features that went into the um, quick cooker with Pampered Chef, all right? And some of them are the, the way that the steam releases being uh, let go. Make sure that this is flush when you start cooking with it. And then this little button here pops up and down when it comes to pressure. So that way you know uh, that it's, the lid is locked. All right. Uh, inside there is a little trivet that comes with it. We're going to keep that in there because I'm going to be using the small little basket. It does have a little tiny PC on there. And we're going to drop this basket in there with some water and put our eggs in there and cook our eggs perfectly done every single time and they are easy to peel eggs all right so let me get my little um cookbook out over here and here it is it's right up front so every um appliance with pampered chef comes with a quick cooker all right uh, a cookbook <laughs> yeah every appliance comes with a wish it comes with a cookbook all right and it, it tells you all the instructions of how to do so we're going to get this going on while people are, are coming in so that we can go on to other stuff all right so we're going to place a wire rack on the inside we add one cup of water okay one cup of water using my measure off pretty easy now these eggs are my eggs that my brother's chickens gave me this week okay and so I'm gonna be placing them I'm gonna be washing these eggs off I didn't wash them and they're actually on the countertop if you have a ch uh, chicken you don't need to actually put them in the refrigerator when they come right from the nest okay right from, the, from where the uh, chickens lay them but you do need to wash them off because you don't know what critter was on them or what uh yeah what, what the chicken did with them beforehand so we're just going to wash off our eggs. I got uh, two, I got eight eggs here, eight eggs, okay? And, and they don't feel any different from from other eggs, so that's the thing. They're, they're, they're totally, um, like, they look like a regular egg, but they are in different sizes and different colors here. You can see, like, one one chicken, like, they're, some are speckled, some are lighter brown, some are darker brown. And so I'm just going to put this in the steamer basket. Why am I going to put this in the steamer basket? Because it's easier for me to lift this up out of my quick cooker than it is to um, do them individually. So we're just going to put that right in there, right on top of the, of the um, trivet in there. We added our water and we're going to put our lid on. And we're going to put custom. We're going to do 12 minutes to start. Okay. So it's going to take a little bit of time to come to pressure, but we're going to do custom. We're going to uh, screw it down, do time, and we're going to turn it down to, uh, I'm, I'm, going down, I'm going down to 12 minutes. Oh, up one. And we're going to press start. Voila, my eggs are going to be done. So let's put that in there. This can go over here because it's clean. I'll have water on there. And let me introduce myself. Hello, my name is Alexis. For those of you that know, I am an independent consultant for Pampered Chef. My primary purpose for coming live is to show you how to use your Pampered Chef tools so that you can use them at your house, okay? If you have similar um, uh, stuff, that's great. But Pampered Chef's been around for 40 years. You have a guarantee from Pampered Chef. Most of the um, items are, are at least warranty for one year, three years, five years, or lifetime depending upon what um, product it is. When you purchase with Pampered Chef, you have 30 days once it comes to your house to use it. If you don't like it, you can actually send it back absolutely free of shipping. Yeah, no no shipping charge if, you, if it doesn't fit your lifestyle or you're not using it, okay, within 30 days, all right? So there we go. <laughs> Make all your cottage are very rich. There you go. Exactly, Ron. Actually, eggs are very good for you. It's a good cholesterol that you're looking at and not your bad cholesterol. So you need to check your doctor on how many eggs you can eat. And uh, I eat eight, at least two eggs a day. That has, it's how I'm getting my protein in and how I'm use, losing weight. Actually, almost two. I've been eating some oatmeal this week, okay? I need to use a quick cooker more often. Yeah, the quick cooker is a really great uh, tool to use in your house. Let me make sure that's flush. Um, 
Why? Because it doesn't heat up your house. You know, summer's coming. You don't want to come in after a hot day, especially if you don't have air conditioning up north, y'all. I know my mom, my mom and dad didn't have an air conditioner, and boy, I hated cooking up there because it would heat up that small little kitchen, and it was already hot outside. You're like, oh, no, the quick cooker stays cool to the touch the entire process, all right? Uh, it does have a nice little lift uh, handles right here. So if you want to put it on a different shelf, I leave mine out because if it's out of sight, it's out of mind and you will not use it. How many tools do you have in your kitchen that you put away and you're like, oh yeah, I should bring that out. I only use it like maybe once a year if I ever remember to use it. Okay. If I do remember to use it. Okay. So get those tools out. Keep them on your countertop if you have space. My kitchen is very, very small, but I do keep my quick cooker out, my, my blender and my air fryers over in the other room there. Okay. Good morning, Retta. How are you doing? Uh, let's see. Good morning, Wayne Wiley. Is it, I, I don't even know what temperature it is cold up here. It is cool. Not as cold as yesterday, though. But let me ask. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. 57. Today, expect a high of 75 degrees. 75. So it's a nice spring day here. That is definitely spring. Yesterday was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I actually walk, walked around with a sweater and a rain jacket on because it was very rainy here. Hello, Aiden. How are you doing? Great, great um, uh, uh, quiz this morning here on HAPS. All right. So uh, there we go. So anyway, <clears throat> <clears throat> all right. So anyway, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, moderators. All right. I'll tell you what. Y'all are slow on the job today. All right, so what are we going to do? Oh, yeah. Well, so tomorrow here on HAPS, H-A-P-P-S, which is where I am broadcasting from, we are having HAPS Salad Saturday. Uh, Half Salad Saturday is where broadcasters come in and they can talk about salad for one hour. I give you an hour time slot. If you don't need that much time, that's fine. You know, if you run over, then we're just going to start into the next one and you, we can catch up with you later. OK, I can only use when I'm at someone else's house. My roommate asked me not to use in her house. Can't change. Wow. That's so weird, Mary. She has some phobias, right? So anyway, um, so anyway, uh, so tomorrow is Haps, Haps Salad Saturday, and it's a whole day starting at, um, I believe, 7 a.m. with, I believe Aiden is the first one. What's for breakfast? We're having eggs for breakfast today, but I'm going to show you how to take care of your wooden utensils in the kitchen. I have a wooden salad bowl that needs to be prepped up for tomorrow. I haven't used it in a while, and, um, and, and every, like, probably... Uh, if you use your wooden tools a lot, then they need to be um, cleaned up a lot, like once a month. Otherwise, once a quarter is fine, okay? Here we go. So I'm going to put you on this other side. Flip the camera over, and I'm going to show you what, what I mean. Okay, I'm going to put my basket. We don't need this basket anymore. We're going to be uh, clean, cleaning up or actually uh, seizing up our wooden tools, all right? Uh, these are... This is made of acacia wood by Pampered Chef. And if you don't take care of wood tools, what happens to it? It cracks and it splits and it just gets nasty and then you don't want to use it. Okay. So to keep this beautiful looking and the shiny luster on it, you need to use an oil. Now you have, you can't use food grade oil. You need to use a mineral oil. Mineral oil is found in most stores. Okay. Publix has this and this is from Publix. All right. Uh, so look, it's, it's a lubricant laxative, odor, odorless, um, tasteless, colorless, but it's used to um, take care of your wooden tools. Now, how are you going to do it? And what wooden tools do you have in your, in your kitchen besides wooden uh, salad bowls? You can have wooden little, uh, little bowls for the salad, okay? You also have wooden... Uh, spatulas. And I see a lot of people use wooden wooden tools in their kitchen. They are very natural. These are a couple different types of wooden tools, okay, that we have here. This one here is a scraper, okay? Scrape, scrape, scrape. This one here is a just a regular spoon. And this is a corner spoon. It has a little edge on it. So it gets into the corner of your pot, okay? Because most, most round ones can't get into the corner of the pot, but this one can, all right? And then we also have combination type of wooden tools, which have wooden handles. These also need to be taken care of, all right, because they're wood. You want to take care of your wood, okay? And this is a set that's a um, uh, silicon and wood utensil set. It has a spoon, the, the spaghetti spoon, and the, the spatula here, okay? Uh, this one here is $30 for all three of them, all right? And $1 goes to Feeding America with Pampered Chef, all right? So... Uh, this is a great 
set to have. It's all natural. It won't won't scrape your your. Um, this is like a combination of wood and and the silicone together. And then I have two other ones that aren't available for sale. I know y'all want one of these. This is Help with Cancer because Help with Cancer. We are having a cancer fundraiser uh, this month with Pampered Chef. If you want to host your own Pampered Chef Help with Cancer because they're giving up to 25% of your um, uh, guest sales to help with cancer there. All right. Then we have, oh, also one more thing with cancer. Uh, when you purchase the scoop and spread, $1 from the scoop and spread goes to the uh, American Cancer Society in the month of May. So definitely get um, one of these and you can uh, donate $1 to American Cancer Society. Actually, Pamper Chef donates it in your honor. Okay. And then this one here is another wooden spoon by Pamper Chef. Okay. There you go. I think this is plant. feels like plastic. But anyway, these are some of the spoons that you need. And how to clean these things is pretty easy. All right. Um, we're going to get a towel. All right. And you're going to just put some oil. We're going to put some, I'm going to put some oil in my, um, uh, the bowl here. All right. Just put it right in. There you go. Good amount. All right. So you're going to get your oil. There's my oil in there. And you're going to get a towel. All right, you can even, I'm going to get a paper towel because that one's, that one absorbs some moisture too. And I can actually reuse it. Okay. Can you help me take care of my wood? Yes, I can t help you take care of your wood, but you got to go out and get your, your own um, mineral oil. I'm showing you how to do it. So we are going to go in here. You can see the difference. You can see the oil. It, it's just, um, it's, it's like putting wax on your car. Okay. That is protecting it. You can wash these with, with soap and water. But at least if you use uh, a wooden salad bowl every month, try try to at least give it a little uh, oil once a month. If you only use it once in a while, then every quarter will be fine. OK, so it depends upon how often you use any wooden uh, your wood in your house. Now, does anybody you can see the difference? In, I mean, it's nice and shiny. We're going to come back and what, polish this down. OK. So just take a few minutes, you know, once a month or once a quarter, depending upon how much, how often you use wood to actually uh, season your wood. Okay. And again, do not use any um, food uh, oil. You're going to use mineral oil on this. All right. Hello, Tony. Hello. How are you doing? You can, you, can you get food grade mineral oil that I mix with beeswax for a wood protector for cutting boards? There you go. Um, that's another thing, cutting boards. I have another, I have a cutting board that we usually uh, just use for, for a stand because it's the only big thing I have in my house. All right. So that's one. I'm going to put all these in here and then we're going to come back. Okay. So you can see the difference in, in here. We're rubbing this with the, with the mineral oil. There you go. And yes, your wooden cutting boils boards also need to be done too. All right. So you can see the difference in between these two. All right. All right. On there. Let's see where my thumbprint was on this one. All right, so we're going to actually rub this together so that we can get it all. And then I'm going to wipe it all down with a nice towel. Okay. And again, it's just like putting uh, wax on your car. You take care of your car, take care of your wooden tools in your kitchen. All right. Let's get this one going. Look, I have enough oil on this one little um, towel to like do most of it. There we go. We should leave one out. That I won't touch. Let's leave one that we won't touch and then we'll see the difference. Okay. You can see the difference as soon as I put the oil on it because it gives a nice little shine to it. Okay. So this is just a, um, a demonstration on how to take care of your wooden tools um, that you have. All right. And again, do the handles on this thing. All right. You don't want them cracking, splitting and peeling. All right. So get yourself mineral oil and it does a great job. All right, look at that. All right, I'm gonna leave the spaghetti spoon off, and then we'll we'll take a look at how they look. All right, get them all done, do them all at once. You know, get all that wood stuff out so that you know you did them all. All right, here's another one, and the last one. Okay, I don't think I've done this one ever. This is my this is my um one we earned in October of this past year. Okay. There we go. Another one you have is your wooden cutting boards. We'll do the wooden cutting boards in a second. Let's, let's, um, wipe all this stuff down. Hello, Harry Winston. I am doing fine. All right. Harry, what, what platform are you watching on? Are you on Twitter or Periscope, Harry? All right. So you're going to get a nice towel. Okay. And you're just going to wipe it off. Okay. And then it's taken care of. All right. There's one. Week two, we did not do. 
so we can see the difference in them. All right. And we have seven minutes left to our eggs over there. And I'll be doing a salad tomorrow, a skinny Caesar salad. Hopefully I get to the store today and get the ingredients for it. All right. There. There. You see the difference in, in the, the shine. Just shine on here. There we go. Uh, Periscope is still alive. Some people are on Periscope still. They have a glitch in the system that they, they couldn't end it. I know. I haven't seen uh, Sam. Sam was running a program from the day, from the time it ended. And uh, I haven't seen Sam in a while. Sam from uh, New Zealand. All right. So there we go. We're going to clean this right off. Just get it. And you're just getting the oil off. You rubbed it in. You let it sit for a little bit. And then come back and wipe off your, your thing. All right. So this is one way to take care of your nice wooden tools. All right. And then that's it. So, and the reason why you don't use food grade oil on here, because food grade oil will make it go rancid. Uh, it'll it'll um, spoil on you. You may have some growth that you don't want. So don't use olive oil or any other oils. Okay. Just use mineral oil. It's a non food grade oil to do this. All right. And this goes with any wood tools that you have. You can see the difference, the luster on here. Uh, versus the other one here. I'm going to get the other one that's not done. All right. So you can see the difference in the two of them. All right. And after a while, you know, soap and, and uh, stuff. And do not put this, ever keep your wooden tools in water. They will. They are porous and they will expand. Just wash them gently. Okay. There we go. Uh, reminder to everyone, you should do this with your wooden knife block too. Yep. Oh, JF Jump. There you go. I got my knife block over there. I haven't even done that one in a while. There we go. Wooden knife block needs to be done. Yep. There. So most of you, how, how many, how many people do this on a regular basis? JFJ, when was the last time that you did yours? When was the last time you did yours? You know, anything that's wood in your house, just pick it up and bring it over. You know, even wooden uh, figurines. If you have like a wooden el uh, elephant that you bought on vacation, you should get your wooden things and just give it a little rub down. Okay. It will so much love you. Okay. Hey, Tony. Some of us still have access to Periscope, but no one is really broadcasting there. It's pretty much as if as they are using another platform and have it linked. Okay. I can't even get into it. So it's it's dead to me i i have no idea you know i don't even have it on my uh phone screen on my first screen it's it's like in an, on another screen i didn't delete it but it's still still on my in my phone there we go so oh wow this is nice y'all this is getting, looking super nice so i'm going to use this bowl tomorrow for our salad uh, that we're going to be doing and so i wanted to take care of it today to make sure that it's ready to go for tomorrow so that's why we're doing a little little PSA, that's public surface amount, announcement, on how to take care of your wooden um, tools, okay? Your wooden things. Most people don't even know to do this, all right? Let's see, Bernie Dolly, how are you doing? If you go to Periscope TV on the computer, you can watch your old broadcast. Oh, look at that. Did you get to download your stuff, Missy Mouse? Uh, let's see. Uh, remind you to, okay, we've got that one. Good morning. You can get food grade mineral oil. And there we go. I got that one. I use those tools daily, says um, Missy Mouse. All right. Um, can somebody scroll back and take care of our troll back there? Our copy cat. His name is Ron Rio today. All right. I need to do mine. I do the wooden utensil cutting boards and block roughly every three months. Yeah. And once a quarter is really good for the stuff. Um, but if you're using like this stuff, like if you use this every like day, then I would do it once a month. If you're using your wooden tools every single day, like if this is your primary um, uh, stuff that you use, then do it once a month. But if you're only using it like once in a while, then uh, once a quarter is fine. Okay. All right. My bowl is all done. Let me put this away. I'll show you the two. Let me see. Oh, we have the difference between this one. You can see the difference. Tell me which one was done. Actually, I have a little piece of oil right there. There's that one. And then we did these. You can tell which one's done and which one's not. Okay. By the gloss on it. All right. Which this is the one. This one here is, was oiled. This one was not. All right. So we're going to put that off to the side. I'm going to put all the ones I did do 
over on the other other counter so that I can um, do some more. All right. All right. Next. Three. Next one is a nice wooden, wooden cutting board. All right. Uh, this is a Pamper Chef cutting board. It is a beautiful one. Bryce has one of these in his uh, apartment. Uh, Bryce, oh, I forgot to tell you how Bryce, we have two minutes left to that. Uh, Bryce is moving into a fraternity house next year. Okay. So he's moving from an apartment with four guys in it, right? And um, originally he was going to get a street house, but his fraternity, uh, it's a brand new fraternity up in uh, the University of Georgia. It's DKE, D -K -E, and um, uh, they were had the opportunity to get a house, okay? It came available, and the fraternity, the national fraternity said, okay, yeah, let's do this. And so they, they sort of bought out Bryce and his uh, roommate's um, lease from the house so that he can move into the fraternity house, all right? You can see the difference on this thing. All right, um, and so... Uh, he, he calls me, he goes, mom, um, I'm going to bring my, my kitchen stuff home. Can I keep it in the garage? Okay. So he's bringing all of his pampered chef and his boards and stuff like that, because he's going to be moving into a fraternity house and you know what happens, you know, I know he has a really good fraternity. It's not one of those, at least I don't think it's a, not a, like a, uh, let's um, <laughs> drink a lot, you know? So anyway, um, he said, can he bring all of his. Hey, Stephen, how are you doing? A new, a, I know we have a new troll. Uh, also, everyone never put your wooden utensil consoles in your dishwasher or ruin them. Yeah, always hand wash your wooden tools, okay? Because the water, uh, the, to the wood is porous and it will ruin it like nobody's business. Okay, so this is, we got that one partially done. All right, now we heard the beep and that is my, um, my quick cooker right here. All right. And we're going to get our quick cooker and I put them in some cold water. All right. I need to get a bowl. Let's get a bowl out. I'm going to put them in a bowl. All right. I'm going to get my glass bowl right here. We're going to start filling it up with some cold water. And we're going to actually turn this on the side. Okay. Because there's steam in here. And my little button is up. So we're going to release the steam. All right. Just let it release. And there's going to be water underneath the, um, the lid, so either put the water back in or put it in the sink, okay? Depending, we can put it right back inside the hair. Hello from Loveland. Hey, Darby, how are you doing? We're getting ready for our Haps uh, Salad Saturday, and I'm making eggs. There we go. Get that water out. And I'm going to get a little, I'm going to get my buddies out because that's hot as anything. I'm Mr. Love, I'm Miss Wright, and together we are the Brick Team. Let's go get the, the eggs out. All right, so we're going to get these things out of the basket. I have the little basket full with my eggs in here, and we're going to put them in cold water, cold running water. If you have an ice bath, that would be great. We don't usually use a lot of ice here, so um, I'm just keeping it right in here. You can see um, they're in the water, okay? And just keep the water running on them, and I cancel this off. Put that back there until I get done so we have room on our countertop. And just keep the water, um, cold water running on your eggs so that they stop the cooking process. If you don't stop the cooking process, your eggs are going to be um, like gray. All right. Uh, gray eggs or uh, eggs that have like a green around the, the outside are overcooked eggs. If they're uh, orange on the inside, it means they aren't cooked all the, all the way. They're like not quite hard yellow eggs. Uh, let's see, Darby says, good morning, Wayne. It's been a while, says JFJ. Yeah, it's been a while. Where have you been? Okay, so just keep that cold water running on here. I'm going to drain it out because the, the eggs are heating up my cold water on here. I think I might have some um, ice. I have one tray. Put some ice right in there. That stops the cooking process really quick. Okay. One left. All right. Oh, that's really. All right. Let's let the eggs 
chill for a little bit. My my ice is going to town here. It's doing its job. Oh, it's nice and cold now. All right, so nice cold water here. And uh, we are doing Haps uh, Salad Saturday tomorrow. If you are broadcasting, please put some emojis up in the in the um, in the chat down there. Hello, Sarah, over on Facebook. If you are if you are broadcasting, please put your emojis up here on Haps so people can follow you and what time you're going to be broadcasting. The actual schedule is in my profile on Haps, and it's starting at 7 a.m. and going to through through 9 p.m. We have a couple spots available. If you're over in Europe and you want to do a salad, we have 6 a.m. available. We also have 6 p.m. here on the East Coast, 7 p.m. on the East Coast, and uh, 10 o'clock if you want to do 10 o'clock. Hey, Globar, how are you doing? All right, so anyway, we are uh, getting prepped up for our salad. I'm making hard-boiled eggs right now, so I don't have to do that tomorrow because we'll be using the grill tomorrow, okay? Uh, let's see. So uh, it's Haps salad saturday tomorrow let's flip us around i'm going to finish up on our our um wooden uh cutting board right here and uh, uh i'm going to show you how to clean that up all right so darby there you go darby's at 5 p.m eastern time yeah all the times are eastern I, i'm on the east coast and i i can't put everybody else's time that would be so confusing y'all all right so we just wiped this thing down it's my nice wooden cutting board but i have to do the other side also all right their side. I'm going to get these little handles there. These um, cutting boards are also not only used for cutting boards, but you can use them for like displays. Okay. So if you're doing a cheese display or you want to do a charcuterie, um, a charcuterie can be anything. You can put a lot of di different things on here. Uh, I'm not going to try, try and do that. But anyway, uh, we're going to uh, wipe this down with a little bit more of the uh, mineral oil and again use mineral oil on your wood tools it's a non-food grade oil it will not spoil you know how when you put um oil on certain stuff and it just gets rancid well that's why you don't use food grade oil on wood all right do not wash your wood in uh dishwashers uh because it, it's just like cast iron don't put don't put your cast iron in there either because it's gonna rust on you all right but this was porous and it'll actually split, crack and peel on you. But your wood, wooden cutting boards actually need to be taken care of by putting a little bit of mineral oil on it. And it depends on how often you use it. If you use your wooden cutting board every single day, then you need to do it once a month. If you only use it a few times, you know, um, then you can get away with maybe every other month or every, every quarter. Definitely every quarter, no matter if you use it or not, it needs to be um, uh, seasons like this, okay? just beautifully taken care of so that it can last a lifetime. All right. There we go. That is nice, y'all. Nice and sparkly. All right. I do have my um, wooden cutting board, wooden wooden block over there. I haven't done that in a while. I'm not sure if I want to take them all out. We can bring it out. I'll show you my wooden cutting board. Just wiping it down really good so it feels nice. All right. There we go. So it's nicely done up. Okay. On there, you have a nice patin on there. I put that on the stove, and we can bring out. Um, let me see what else we have. Beautiful pieces, Globot. Thank you. It's a beautiful cutting board. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, this cutting board actually, Bryce has one like this. Uh, a long time ago, when when Pampered Chef came out with this cutting board, um, Bryce said Bryce um, had. I asked him in the catalog. I said the entire this little tiny catalog. Um, he, he, I, I said, pick out two things that we need. And he said, a cutting board and the chef's knife. Well, those are two things that I actually were, were got for free by, from Pampered Chef. And this is his chef's knife. I actually had to buy a new chef's knife, um, last, um, uh, summer because Bryce took it. All right. <laughs> Bryce took the knife and he took the cutting board. So this is a new cutting board that I got last like September. I think he came in cause they're having some shipping issues, but Pampered Chef shipping issues are back to normal. They, everything ships out within about five days of five business days from when you actually order. All right. So if you want a nice little cutting board like this, this makes a great gift for anybody. If you're um, sending it to somebody for a new home, that would be a beautiful gift. <clears throat> all right. Uh, so let's see. The other one, uh, let me see. I get my wooden, wooden this is a wooden cutting uh, block by Pampered Chef. Let me see if I can put it over here. And I have some non-Pampered Chef stuff on here too, okay? You can see I have um, 
the non-pampered chef are the steak knives because these are my mom's steak knives. Okay, so we don't we we don't need to even bother with those. All right, I put my kitchen paring knives in here because I I use these all the time. This these are a free gift here in uh, the month of May when you purchase with Pampered Chef eighty dollars or more, they give you a free gift. And right now it is the knives. Okay. So that's that. We have our the scissors that I use all the time, y'all. And uh, if you're like Bryce, Bryce comes out and he picks this thing up and they, they usually fall apart. When you um, um, hold scissors or are bringing scissors out of the drawer, always hold them, like pull them out with both like this. These scissors can actually um, open bottles from here too, like bottle caps, the bottle cap opener here too. The Globot, thank you for the yummy award. <laughs> We're not even doing anything yummy. All right, so this one here is a um, uh, utility knife by Pampered Chef. Remember when you uh, uh, hold your knives or ready to cut them, put your thumb right on the blade and your forefinger on the back of it and ease it this way. Do not go like this or way back, hold it back here like this. The correct way to hold a knife mean it like when you hold a knife hold it like you mean it and use it like you're going to mean it okay so hold your knives correctly uh this one here this is another utility knife but it's a different from a different set from pampered chef but it's the same same thing i forget which one's which <laughs> on here let's see uh all right that's this this one belongs to the the this set right here this one i got way back in my original pampered chef when I became a consultant, I got this knife in my kit. Okay, uh, this one is um, one of part of my mom's. Uh, this one here is the state. It is the tomato knife. It has a ridge, ridge edges on it. So when you have um, like tomatoes or bell peppers, it's really good to cut with this one here. I usually use this one a lot. I used to use this. This the. Um, Tomato knife used to be my most used knife. All right. And then this one here is a Santuco knife. Again, hold it like you mean it. All right. Uh, this one here, you cut down straight on it, like chop, chop, chop. All right. This one here is a um, avocado tool, and it actually uh, cuts open your avocado. It's very, very sharp, so I kept it in my butcher block here. And then uh, the, it gets the uh, nut seed or whatever you mean, whatever thing is in the middle of it, pop, pop, pop it out, and then you can mix and mash with this part here, okay? And then we have the, um, this one here is a bread knife by Pampered Chef, okay? And then we have the, um, my, my one of my favorite ones and Bryce's favorite tool is the chef's knife. All right, and then you have the block. This is a safety feature, um, to, for, so you can actually put your knives away and they keep them nice and sharp. If you don't have that, there is um, uh, covers that come with all of these. All of these come with a nice cover, so that when you put them in your in your drawer, uh, make sure you have a cover on all your knives, because otherwise it, it can damage you, and it damages your knife. Okay, so always keep a cover on your knife. This is the um, whoop, the um, coated knife set by Pampered Chef. All right, so we got to uh, oil this one up. I got my little um, thing right here, and just gonna go right in and just oil it. Let me see. I need a little bit more oil on my on my little sheet right here. There we go. Not much. All right. There. There. And you're just going to oil it like that. Okay. And you can see how nice it's looking right now. Like, wow. Alexis did a great job, right? There we go. All right. And back here, you can see, you can tell that it's been, it's really dry on, on this one here. All right. On this. So now you get your knife block. Oil it down really nice, all right? And it's gonna look nice on your countertop too when you do this. You're gonna say, wow, I got a new knife block, right? So definitely, it's something that you don't think about, but you definitely need to oil it, even your knife block, all right? It's something that you're not using. I don't really need to do the bottom, but you can see the bottom of it. There you go. And then we're gonna get our dry towel and wipe it all off, all right? Get your dry towel and wipe it all off, all right? First time broadcast. Um, okay. Oh, it's going to be your first time, Missy Mouse. If anyone needs to uh, a, to t a time converter for any particular person for tomorrow's salad Saturday, um, at me, your location and post. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you, Stephen, for the super hard award. I appreciate it. Uh, salad Saturday on half should be a great time. So many talented people has all tune in. All right. So we need a couple more people. Uh, we need the six o'clock spot and the seven o'clock. If not, well, that'll be fine. We can just, um, you know, come in and do a recap or, um, 
do something on those times. I'm fine with, with what we got. I'm coming on at, at four. I may come on around six, six 30 tomorrow, just to introduce Aiden and get everybody awake. All right. If you want, you can invite another uh, broadcaster into your, um, uh, into your, into your broadcast so that they can read the comments uh, for you. Okay. If you want to do that. Okay. There we go. That is nice. Now, look how pretty this is looking. This is looking 100 times better than before. And it feels really nice, too. All right. So let's put our things back. Let me put that back there. There. Oh, it's looking pretty back there. Look how pretty it looks. <laughs> it looks like a brand new tool back there. All right. So anyway, let's go from the top. Put our, our chef's knife back in. The bread knife goes back in. All right. Um, I forget where this one goes. This one here is the paring knife. All right. Uh, I don't have rhyme to reason where I'm putting these, okay? Wait a minute. I'm, I want this one further down. And we want this one up there. And then I put two of these knives up there. There. Scissors. We've got our scissors. And I think this is in the wrong spot. That one goes there. That one, Santuco knife goes there. All right. Here's another Santuco. All right. Put our steak knives back. There. And it's, oh, man. It's, thank, thank you, JFJ. Man, I, I wasn't even going to do that one. Uh, let's put that one in. Put that one up there. There, there. Actually, let's put that there. There, and I got my last one. Can go right there. Woo! We're all back together again. All right, so there's the knife block. It's already ready to go. Thank you for the block. All right, let's see if I got these eggs pulling down over here. I'm gonna get a couple eggs, and we're gonna peel them. Okay. All right, let's get this off. All right, and I'm gonna change out this. Just in, I don't think I have any oil on here. Yeah, just in case we can change that out. Let's get our little one over here and we're going to peel some eggs. All right. So we did some eggs, some hard boiled eggs for tomorrow for my salad that I'm going to be doing. And we um, did them in the quick cooker by Pampered Chef. We set it for, we put one cup of water with eight eggs in there and did it for 12 minutes. Okay. So now we're going to peel our egg. All right. There we go. It does look really good, doesn't it? All right, so um, the rapid pressed mandolin, y'all saw me do the French fries in it, all right, right here, this one here, uh, is available for, for sale. It is um, $70 and it came available for sale. It was on stop sale for a long time and it's available now. They sold thousands of these in the first day, y'all. And uh, I had one person buy it. So anyway, if you wanna buy this, it's the Rapid Press Mental. It does great with French fries, shredding up uh, any type of uh, veggies in here, such as carrots and radishes and um, any type of cabbage, you name it. All right. So we got that. And then tomorrow I'm going to be using this one here. This one here is a measure uh, mix and pour, which we have a, a simple creamy dressing on, uh, already on here. And then there's also a simple vinaigrette. So we'll be using this one tomorrow. All right. And what's the difference in this? If you're not using it for a salad, you can also use it for a creamer or juice in here because it does have a stock on it. It's a Pampered Chef a measure mix and pour for your salad. So we'll be using that tomorrow. All right. So we got our egg. We're gonna cook. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat two eggs today. So and we're gonna peel these up and hopefully they peel up really good. All right. Like really easy. So you're gonna see I know they say that um, when you do it in the quick cooker they are really easy to peel and you can see it's coming right off really easy here. Okay. Hopefully my brother's chickens lay, they laid four eggs yesterday, the one the chicken did. Okay, so we got, we got our egg right there. All right, let me rinse this off. All right, there's one down. I'll put that over there. We gotta get another one. Okay, here's a small one. You can tell the difference in the eggs, the size of the eggs and stuff, the difference in the color of the chicken's eggs. What, a little wet, can't tell. Can't tell with wet eggs, Alexis, but they are different colors and different sizes on the egg itself. Okay. So we're going to open this one. All right. Good morning. Hey, Twin Moms Judy. Hey, it's good to the last drop. Oh my gosh. And we're doing Plop Plop Fizz Fizz today. 
No, actually we're not. Oh, that one is coming apart just a little bit right there. No big deal. All right, let's see if we get this off. A little, had a little hole in there. All right, so we got our eggs right off. All right, and I forgot to bring out my um, egg slicer, y'all. All right, there we got our eggs. Let's get those. I'm gonna put that off to the side. Let's get a different one. Pink one, we have our eggs ready to go. Um, we can make up a coffee because Judy, Judy, look, we got a Haps mug here, okay? Um, I got my new um, <sighs> Master House. It's good to the last drop, y'all. We used up all the Folgers yesterday, okay? So let's make a cup of coffee uh, in honor of Judy being in the house with us, all right? Get that and I have spoon. Yeah, here we have a little little scoopy. Okay. All right. I'm putting um re redo refillable um uh containers. I don't use the K pods because they are too expensive. And so I buy a whole container of um coffee and this coffee was only five bucks. It was four ninety nine, y'all. So we got the coffee. Let me put this over here do a coffee in honor of Judy and I got a drink of water too for Mary. All right, so let's drink up some water and we got our eggs ready to go. Because you need hydration nation, all right? Without water, we'd be prunes. All right, so we got our um, egg slicer right here. Put your egg right in, and we're going to slice it right down. Oops, there, it's one. And here's the other one. Woo! All right, got that. And you can see it's perfectly yellow on the inside. 12 minutes in the quick cooker, your eggs are perfectly done. Yeah, enjoy. Good to the last drop, exactly. <laughs> we love those songs. All right, let's just use this as a tray. All right, so what would you like to, to make with your eggs? I like eating them just plain. A little salt and pepper. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I may have to make more eggs. I love eggs. All right, perfect. Mm-hmm. So you can tell these are perfect eggs. If your eggs have a green or gray around the edges, it's overcooked, y'all. It's okay to eat, but they cooked them too long. If they're yellow, if they're orange on the inside, you didn't cook them quite enough. All right. So if you don't have a quick cooker, another way to cook your um, hard boiled eggs is to put your eggs in a pot of water, cover it, bring it to a boil. Now, the thing is, you need to go 10 minutes exactly once it starts to percolate, okay, and stop it. You need a timer on that, all right? And then once it's done, you need to plunge those um, those uh, eggs in the pot into cold water and stop the cooking process. So that's another way. My ex-husband did it a different way. He, he um, uh, just boiled the water and let it sit. <laughs> I was like, okay, I don't know. I'd like to make them perfect every single time. Hello, David Tim. How are you doing? <laughs> I love, you love this placemat. All right, so you can get this placemat. This pink paste placemat is available, but it's only for available for people who do a cancer um, uh, fundraiser, okay? I have a few of them left, and only people that do cancer fundraisers, and once their, or, their order is submitted, I send you one, okay? So if you want to do a cancer fundraiser, that's the only way you can get that pink mat. It's not even available. It's a retired product from a long time ago. All right. I think I got two or three left. All right. This coffee is honor of Judy and, and um, Judy, Judy. It's good to the last drop. Wow. Oh, that first cup of coffee of the day. It's so good. You know what the first cup of coffee tastes like, you know? Now, you know those sugar smacks? The sugar smacks guy with the frog on the box, right? 
it sort of tastes like that. It has like a caramel flavor to it. I'm telling you, and there's no sugar in here. There's no sugar. This is regular coffee, y'all. Okay. But yeah, plain black coffee. You can now, you can also make them in the oven by using the, oh yeah, you can also, you can also, I've never done them in the oven, uh, Texas Snow Bunny. How long do you keep them in the, in the oven? The eggs. Uh, you can also cook them in the air fryer. You can also cook um, eggs in the air fryer. I've not done them in the air fryer because I know that this comes out perfect every time. And sometimes I don't want to like chance it, you know, like I already know that this, this way works, but if you don't have a quick cooker, you can cook them in the air fryer or like she says in the oven. I never knew you can cook them in the oven. <laughs> well, it's fun. Mike. Okay. Nurse. Is... <laughs> Good morning, Judy. All right. Uh, Mary says my first cup of coffee today came really early, slept, slept early, woke early. There you go. What time do you go to sleep? And what time you wake up? Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, thank you for the hug award, Darby Jones. All right. So we did a lot today. We made um, hard boiled eggs. I'm going to uh, keep two, uh, two, about four of them for tomorrow's um, uh, salad. Okay. And I got two, uh, two, two additional ones I can actually eat or I can make more. Okay. But I'll have to go to, um, I'm almost out of eggs unless my brother's chickens um, give me more eggs. So anyway, we got, I got two eggs. Now, if you have a chicken in your yard or your neighbor's yard and they did not wash them, you can keep your eggs out on the countertop. So that's how they do it in third world countries. They don't, they don't put refrigerate their eggs. Our eggs in the United States are refrigerated because they go through a washing process. And when they go through a washing process, there's some kind of magic that gets, uh, that gets um, taken away. The I forget what it's called. There's a, pr there's something on the outside of an egg when it gets done. So Anyway, that's why we need to refrigerate our American eggs because we wash our eggs and then they go in the containers. But if you have your chicken in your yard, you need to wash your eggs before you crack them and before you use them. Okay. Because you need to get that, that, um, dirt and stuff off of it. All right. Uh, let's see. Hello. Uh, let's see. The only thing with oven is it puts spots on the outside of the egg. Really? I just do the old school way on the stove top. Yeah. It washes the bloom, the bloom. There it is, Wayne. Y'all are really good. Hey, Jay, how are you doing today? I'm like, Y'all are in here today. Wow. What's up? This is a good time to come live or what? You know? So anyway, we've been on for 47 minutes and we have our eggs right there. Let me flip us around. You can see who I am. Hey, it's Alexis, your Pampered Chef consultant here. And um, uh, uh, if you're interested in any Pampered Chef, I have to... I'm screwing around with my tripod legs here. They, they don't want to stay up. Uh, if you are interested in any Pampered Chef, please purchase on your favorite house party. Okay. We have three parties open. We have several parties. So you can go in my link and look at it. Here's the, um, this is another link that I have. Let me see. It's one CD on here because one can do. There we go. You can go into that and order any of your Pampered Chef, whether it's an egg slicer or you want to order the uh, silicon and wood utensil set. You want to order that wooden uh, cutting board or even the quick cooker. I show so many tools. It's unbelievable. And I show you how to use it different ways, not just one way. Like I come in live and I show you multiple uses for everything because I don't like products you can only do one things with. Okay. Just like clothes, like this shirt, I can wear it only like maybe once every other week. Otherwise you're going to say, Alexis, you wore that short last week. Okay. Or like, and I did. Uh, and then, uh, although this is my pamper chef shirt, y'all it's my pamper chef shirt. So I've been trying to wear all my logo when I walk in and I go out. Sure. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, one can do looking great today. Thank you. I put a little uh, bit of unsweetened almond milk in my coffee. It gives it an, yeah, I just, I just don't like creamy in my coffee right now. I, I gave it up, uh, when I was trying to lose weight because I didn't want to use like, uh, three points for the, for, for the creamer in my coffee. And I was like, man, I was being stingy. I'm like, let me take those three points or rather eat them. I'd rather have a piece of chocolate than cream in my coffee. Let's just put it that way, right? This is weird. Somehow I had to subscribe again to you. I've had been your fan since the very beginning. No wonder why I haven't seen you in the in last week. That's that's unusual. Wow, that is so weird. How did you um how did we fall out? I didn't do anything. Let me see if can I find you on here? Uh view profile. I'm subscribed to you. <laughs> I did something there. 
Uh, I like my things. I use my things. Yeah. And if you know what, if you have your things in your kitchen, right, uh, I, we call them products or tools in your kitchen. If you hide them, all right, you have no idea if they're out of sight, it is out of mind. All right. That's just, that's just one of my terms. If it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So if I have something that is packed away, I am not going to use it, but if it's on my countertop, I will use it. I'm fond of my things also says Bo. Exactly. Hey, Stephen Harris, thank you for the super hard award. I appreciate it. And that's another thing you can do. Um, you can do awards here on HAPS by uh, supporting your broadcaster with with a couple of little, you know, 30 cents, 15 cents here. It helps you with my food costs. I'm, I'm building up so that when I do my cash out, it's going to go to my PayPal and then I can uh, purchase food from there or items that I need in my kitchen. OK, I'm using a microplane and measure. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> the next one. Next one you're going to have to get is the uh, the juicer and, and zester, okay? I hate to say it, Darby, but the, the, the microplane is great for little jobs. Like I have mine right here, this one here. Little jobs, okay? Like that. I need nutmeg, y'all. I need nutmeg really, really bad. All right, so do do uh, give um, your, your awards. I've been saving all my awards for Super Saturday, uh, uh, Super let me say haps salad Saturday. I've been saving them because I, I go into the, into the broadcasters and I give my awards on that, on that Saturday. Okay. So that's, I've been like, I've been stingy with the awards y'all. Uh, Cause I have one big day that I go into everybody's broadcast that goes on here and um, I give them a little award or appreciation. Okay. Pumpkin spice and is nutmeg. Um, uh, uh, all right. Pumpkin spice has nutmeg in it, but nutmeg is a totally different, um, uh, a seasoning or uh, nut. Let me see. Because we have them here. Look. I only have two tiny, tiny, tiny pieces left out of this whole container. And this container was my mom's. Okay. So it's probably from used by, oh, yeah, used by 09, y'all. <laughs> so anyway. It is super old, so I need this. I definitely need to look for whole nutmeg, all right? Whole nutmeg is so much better than using the ground. All right, so in the pumpkin pie spice, all right, has um, ingredients, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and sulfating agents. The sulfating agents are so that it doesn't um, um, coagulate or uh, gum up on you, okay? So <laughs> this one is so much better than this here, okay? Then we have apple pie spice, okay? Apple pie spice probably has nutmeg in it too. And can I read that far away? Does it have it on there? Oh, it says cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. Cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice is in the pie spice, all right? Uh, let's see, anyone else? Definitely need this, okay? I, I need, I'm going to keep that out so I order it today. I love pie spice, says Twin Moms. Darby says hi to Jay, or Jay says hi to Darby. Pumpkin spice does not make all spice or cloves. There you go. Uh, good morning, Zoe. How are you doing? Boy, you all are coming in late. I'm all, I'm all done. None of my PC is in my kitchen. Oh, my gosh, Mary. Roommate has her things in there. I have a way that keeps mine. Ex I have a way that keeps mine accessible. I use, wash, and put away. There you go. Oh my gosh, Mary. We need to talk, girl. I need to call you. When are you available? I'll, I'll give you a call today. The simple. Okay, so oh, JFJ goes here. The simple slicer, uh, besides slicing tomatoes and vegetables, is well, it, it it will also will slice hard boiled eggs. That's why I love about Peace Feet. They are very versatile. Yeah, and I could uh, instead of using the egg slicer, I could use the quick slice. Okay, uh, on there the quick slice. Yeah, the quick slice would have would slice them up, but they would have sliced them up a little bit th thicker. They would have been one um one quarter of an inch. This is a little bit less than a quarter of an inch on this one here. This is like I don't even know what this is inches. Yeah, maybe it is. Uh, it might be a little bit. It's. I think this is a little bit smaller than a quarter of an inch. Y'all. Okay. My goodness. Maybe I have food in front of you when you eat it. <laughs> Talk to me all the time. All right. I'm going back up. I can't. My finger's wet now. All right. Uh, let's see. Alexis, your views today are amazingly well. Your views today are amazing. Well done. I don't. I don't know what that means. <laughs> My views, actually, when I started, it's at 300 uh, people right now on views, but I started with 170 um, um, viewers that l viewed the post before I went live. So we're actually at 150 people or so, okay? We're at 300 right now. So a little less than 150 people are in here right now, okay? 
uh, let's see, uh, call. I will not change anything. I live in her place. Oh yeah. No, I just want to talk to you. I, uh, yeah, I thought, uh, you'd be off when I noticed the minute you've been on here. Yeah, I, thought, I know. Cause I've been doing shorter ones. There's, there's our co copycat person. All right. So somebody take care of that copycat. He, he just doesn't know where to go. Right. That was definitely the copycat one. Okay. I'm not sure about the, the first one from earlier before. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Do we get the one from earlier? Scroll back and see if we got the one from before. Uh, uh, earlier. There we go. Yeah, I think we got them. I think y'all got them. Uh, it was right before Harry Winston came in. Yeah, we got we got them all. His name was Ron. That that was a neutral. At least I think. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Look at that. He has it in for us, doesn't it? Yes, we were muting him. Thanks. We uh, all have been muted so far. Thank you, Stephen and and Darby and JFJ yeah, and Mary. Y'all are on my uh, my uh, uh, moderator list here on Haps. I've never had moderators on Periscope. Not one one time I had four moderators, and their arguments themselves. I was like, okay, oh, y'all, I'm just getting rid of y'all because we can always try try to convert a person, but they're just being muted here. I did hear. Um, I think Karen uh, said on Vanita's thing that. Is Paris is Paps trying to uh, do a way that we can actually um, block from another app? Was that true? It's the same. It's the same person. Is this, was it was the same person. There's another name. You can tell because they they can't spell <laughs> exactly exactly. Y'all, I, I love coming in. And tell y'all uh, talking with y'all. This is fun. You have had over one choose in the broadcast, which is no, I only have three hundred twenty. That must be hearts. Somebody must be tapping hearts somewhere. It's only three hundred twenty. Uh, <laughs> this is actually a bun back here, y'all. It was a messy bun. I actually had it on top of my head, but it fell apart. And I was like, oh, forget it, y'all. We could, we could actually braid my hair right now and then have it done for the day. Sometimes I have to do it twice. I doubt if hats can mute other platforms, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I was thinking the same thing. They probably couldn't do it, but I can always stop. See, the thing is, I, I, the one thing I do love about HAPS, uh, which is uh, the, the app that I'm broadcasting on right now, I can share out to other platforms, such as YouTube, all right, um, uh, Twitch, which I, I had zero. I usually get with zero to like maybe three max on Twitch when they when they watch it. Uh, Periscope and um, Twitter which I don't even know if anybody's on Twitter these days. And then Facebook. I like to share out to Facebook, especially like my business page. And then also um, I share out to the VIP groups. Now, last night when I went live, I did not share out to uh, all those broadcasts. I just shared out to private groups and here on HAPS. And we had no, no um, troll in here. But today that troll likes to come in early. Let's see. Yeah. So, uh, Texas, somebody, you're right on the troll. The troll is, is, is not educated. They can't spell, uh, names even. <laughs> they can't even copy. They can't even copy a name. Right. Uh, let's see. I saw another patient on Twitter says twin moms. Okay. Is this the, it, okay. So Zoe, you're over on Twitter, right? Is this one of your, I don't give a, ah, <laughs> no, not really. I don't usually say that word, but yeah, I say it once in a while. Uh, no, oh, I know, no, no, no necklace today because it, it's a V shaped thing and you really wouldn't be able to see it. I did bring, a, I did wear a bracelet. Okay, I got the bracelet and the earrings on, y'all. Okay, so <laughs> well, well, yeah, but it's that is included all your platforms, not just half. So that that's what I meant by that number. No, it's still saying on mine. It says um, th um, uh, the eyeball up there says three oh five. There were uh, there was a troll on Twitter I blocked says twin moms. The only people I see on Twitter is th is those those that thrive on drama and can't do here. Yeah, I see that, and, and actually they're in a chat type thing situation. And I oh, I've I've gone into it like twice, and I'm like, let's get out of there because all that negativity, y'all. When you um are in negative uh, conversations, it wears you out. And makes you tired. And I'm like, get right out of there, right? Uh, Zoe, I have many days like that. <laughs> hey, Winky Wonky Donkey, thank you so much for the super hard word, super hard award, super hard award. 
<laughs> Why does it say, I don't know. Um, I don't know what you're seeing. I see um, 30, 305, 305. I think it's people tapping hearts over on Twitter. It's people tapping hearts on Twitter is where, or even on Facebook that you will, will see that number. Uh, exactly. That's, that's why it says, I don't know, take a screenshot and show it to me, but I think it's the, the heart tapping, uh, increases that number there. All right. So tomorrow is Haps Salad Saturday. Uh, we do once, once a month, usually on a Saturday, because that's when most of you are off. Um, maybe next, next month in, in the, in, uh, June, it may be a different day. Uh, oh, I can, I was talking to somebody and, um, I was thinking that June was going to be really, really hard because we have father's day in there and we don't want to do it over father's day weekend. And then the weekend before, um, I was going to be going on vacation to Disney world and the first weekend in June, my sister's coming. And so I, uh, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this this uh, this cooking Saturday is going to be off because I won't be able to do it. But uh, I we moved the Disney um, the Disney vacation is now uh, J- July sixteenth through the twentieth, sixteenth through the twentieth. We're going down on the day of Rice's birthday, which is a Friday, and uh, we'll be in, in Disney World. So that's going to be exciting to to go to Disney World for his birthday weekend. And I haven't had a birthday weekend with Bryce in a very long time. I haven't been with Bryce on his birthday. I don't think in many years. I can't remember. Yeah, but we had that birthday. We did the birth. No, it's always been like a different day, like not on his day. I've not been with him. He's usually with his dad or gone somewhere. Uh, let's see. No, the number 305. Yep, 314 now is how many people I've joined the broadcast through just half side of the broadcast. Good luck to all those doing half salad Saturday, especially Missy Mouse on her first broadcast tomorrow. Missy Mouse, you may want to just go live. <laughs> before just go in um the only thing i would say missy mouse is start your broadcast on your computer okay and then have just join in on your phone have it go in there do your hashtags everything on there and that's what i do is i set it up there i push go live on my computer and and you have to do it twice once up here and one down here and then go live on your phone have your uh, tripod ready set up and then that way you, you can do it you can invite somebody in um, uh, me or anybody else, Aiden, um, anybody on here, uh, and say, Hey, be, be a guest on here and they can talk while you're doing your thing. Cause it does get a little nerd. It's a little bit different than Periscope. That's all I can say. Is this, is this the postponed trip you earned? Yeah, this is the postponed trip we earned. We're still postponing it there. Uh, it's like the trip they'll never, never come. Right. Uh, so yeah, it's the Disney trip. It's three nights, four days with, uh, Hopper Pass included. And when I went to a book, um, just to confirm, they said, Oh, we only have, uh, Epcot for three days. You can't go into any other parking at the call at two o'clock this See if you can hop over to any park. I'm like, that won't do. So then I, I immediately texted Bryce and I said, Hey, <laughs> we need to move this to like July. And so uh, we changed the, the hotel reservations and um, I made the reservations for each park uh, to go into because they only allow so many people in the park on those days. Uh, you're finally going. And then, uh, so anyway, that is the July 16th through the 20th. Okay. And then, uh, the next weekend is the Pampered Chef conference. Yeah, we are doing a big conference. And if you are interested in becoming a Pampered Chef consultant, this is the time to sign up, to sign up, become a consultant. There are three kits available. One is that quick cooker. You can get that quick cooker for $59 when you sign up as a Pampered Chef consultant and, uh, get it into your kitchen like that. The other one is 120. I think it's $129 is that electric grill and griddle. That's uh, kit number two. And then the third kit is is the ultimate kit, which is worth $1,100. And they are, Pampered Chef gives you your business for $269. It comes with all the $1,100 worth of Pampered Chef uh, products, okay? It also comes with your website for, for 90 days. So give the business a try for 90 days. And this is somebody that's looking for a summer job. You might want to do Pampered Chef, okay? I have a person that signed up under under me in um, March, uh, no, April 13, 14th. And she is like, at, uh, I think almost $2,000 in in sales. So she is on her way and she already has two consultants under her and two possible more to sign up under her. She's on the fast track to become a director. Uh, so that's pretty cool, right? So anyway, her, uh, her name is Jeanette and, uh, she's up here in Georgia and, uh, she's, uh, she's actually, uh, 
off work right now, but she's going back. She is a, uh, a trucker for Federal Express and her and her husband are a tag team. So they drive the Federal Express truck all the way across the United States. Okay. So, uh, so, so anyway, she became a Pampered Chef consultant and has earned so much stuff already in addition to her commission, which is 20% when you sign up. And uh, she earned uh, the free quick cooker already. Uh, when, when, cause that was a deal in, in April when you sign up, if you do $500 worth of Pampered Chef, you get the free, the quick, the quick cooker free. But that was, that was a three month special. And then, uh, she's earned a lot of other stuff for free. Yeah. So that was really exciting. I need, I went, I, I need to call her today and say, Hey, let's meet up, you know, cause it's only about 45. She lives about 45, maybe an hour away from me, up, uh, past Brunswick, uh, west of Brunswick. Cause if you're east of Brunswick, you're in the Atlantic ocean. Actually, you're on on uh, Sea Island or Drekel Island, but you know what I mean. Yeah, so good for her is right, and she she's doing she is doing so well. I don't. She is self teaching her because Pampered Chef gives you the dash training in the in the back office of Pampered Chef, and it gives you step by step by step exactly what to do. Now I can I can lead you to water. I can offer you the opportunity to make whatever money you want, but it's up to you to run your own business, right? You can come to me and say, "Hey, what do I do with this or that?" But she she's been figuring it out. Yeah, her and her and her little team there. Unfortunately, Alexis, I'll be out of, out of my wife and I on a day trip tomorrow, or I would have done one of the slots maybe next month all right so next month uh we're gonna do um the the saturday that i was gonna go to disney world all right so let's do that right now june right so my sister's coming the fifth we'll do um let's oh should we do saturday the 12th or sunday we should we do this should we do a sunday should, hey sarah sparkles you're up early um should we do uh next next month is uh june should we do a sat a sunday that way we can get people who are religious on on Saturday an opportunity to broadcast on Sunday. What do you think about doing it on a Sunday versus a Saturday? What do you think? I know most of us are are uh, treat Sunday as a holy day of obligation, but Alexis will teach you so much. There you go, says Matt. Thank you so much. All right. So, yeah, and I, I teach you stuff that's on that's Facebook related or, you know, uh, app related. Uh, Saturday is better, says JFJ. Good morning. All right. So let me know which one. Sundays are good too, says Darby. I would do a two dare, but I don't think we have enough people to do a two dare. All right. So either it's uh, June 12th or June 13th. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm like a superstitious person, here. You know, not too superstitious, but 13th. I'm like, eh, that might be a bad day. So anyway, um, it's going to be June. And June, we're going to be doing, um, I believe the the thing was grilling. Grilling in June, okay, is is our topic for um, HAPS in June. So either day, says Darby. So I will, um, oh my gosh, Sundays, Sundays, I would watch, I work Saturdays. So there you go. So there's another one, uh, me, either for me too. All right, so I'm going to put it out there. Do they want to do it on a, sat on a Sunday versus a Saturday and see that? Because we did three Saturdays now. We did March uh, soup. We did... April. What do we do in April, y'all? <laughs> Soup is a good one. What do we do in April? What do we cook in April? We did an April one and then we're doing salad. All right. What do we do in April? Oh my gosh. It went out in my head. What do we do in April? Oh my gosh. What was the theme in April? I forgot to. <laughs> Grilling is good because we you can grill outside. Yum. Yeah, you can grill, grill outside. You can grill. I, I grill inside. I forgot. At least I'm not, at least I'm not the only one that forgot. Okay. So anyway, uh, dang. Anybody know what we did in, 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 <laughs> I am trying, my brain is not working today. All right. Uh, I can't remember either, says JJ. I did cookies. Oh, we did dessert. We did desserts. There you go. Thanks, Darby cookies jogged my brain. We did dessert in April. So we're doing salads this month. We're going to do grilling. It's a process, a cooking process, whether you want to grill um, something on the inside, because you know, I'm going to be grilling on my, on my uh, deluxe electric grill and griddle, right? Or the double burner grill or something like that. We're going to grill. We're going to grill next week, next in, in June, because grilling season's here, y'all. All right. I couldn't remember. It, it was desserts. I came up before y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Texas somebody should have typed it in there. Uh, so <laughs> we did desserts. Y'all, dang, I couldn't even remember what I make. Well, I, I scope too often, so I, I, I sip so many foods. 
I couldn't remember either. I love I love having these little conversations here. I know um, uh, Facebook is like, man, she goes way too long. And I was on Michael uh, Michael's broadcast last night. I didn't know anything about the rabbit, y'all. I don't know what the rabbit was. I thought it was a rabbit stew that Christine was doing and and Bronx spiking, but uh, they told me no that that I was wrong. I was like, oh, I'm I'm clueless on 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 what people are talking about these days. So anyway, I just went in there to say hello and promote Hap Saturday and my business there. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? So anyway, today is Friday. All right. Hopefully you had a oh, grilled pizza, Darby. That will be so awesome. A grilled pizza. I love grilling pizza. Oh my gosh. I do it on the stove too. And you flip it over. It's so easy and it doesn't heat up. Like if you don't have to use your oven during the summer, don't turn it on. Don't turn your your oven on. It heats up your house and then it takes forever to cool it off. I'm on it, says Darby. All right. So either the uh, 12th or the 13th, we'll be doing that one. For the things, uh, yeah, I, I already knew that way back when I was in my 40s that, you know, the decline, your brain declines after a certain age, you know, you sort of can't remember like where you put your car keys, where you put your glasses, although I keep them on my face so I know where they are. And I just go like this and then I look, I, I drive like this. <laughs> Let's see. I try not to use it. Uh, I love, yeah, the air fryer is great. It's replacing everything, the air fryer. And I like the air fryers with the um, doors that open. The, of course, the Pamper Chef air fryer. But even Bryce likes the air fryer. He, uh, I, he, he did say that he's going to be bringing all of his Pamper Chef tools home uh, for next year because he doesn't want everybody using them because he knows how, how they would use them and then they wouldn't be good. I'm like, just use them. <laughs> <laughs> just use them. So anyway, uh, but he is going to keep the air fryer there. He goes, yeah, we use the air fryer. So even the kids, uh, teenagers use air fryers in college, college dorms, uh, would be a great, uh, great gift for, for anybody. All right. So if you have a kid that's going to college, get them an air fryer. They can make everything in the air fryer, right? I use my parents' grill. They have a great patio. There you go. You can, you can do outside grilling. I, it's just Darby. It is too hot here to grill outside. I have my, we bought a brand new grill like two years ago and uh, it's still in the garage because I didn't want to put it outside because the, it would get worn out by the sun outside versus sitting in my garage. It's nice and cool and, and it's not, uh, the sun kills everything, the colors down here and everything. So I kept it in the garage. So we used to do, remember when we used to do the, um, we did we did a couple uh, broadcasts with grilling in the garage and we did pizza and we did, um, we did a lot of stuff. I would put it at the edge of the garage, flip it open. And we did broadcast in the garage grilling outside on the, on the grill. Uh, yeah. And, and it was cool then. It was like, we did the broadcast at like six o'clock or six thirty in the morning and we did pizza out there. I know that. Um, I forget what else we did out there on the grill, but it was early in the morning, early, early. That was on the, on the Periscope days. So anyway, all right. So what else do you have um, for me? Because i got to get going here. It's ah, 830. I've got to go let my brother's dogs out. But dog out. Poor dog. <clears throat> Poor dog. That's all I can say. We use tortillas for pizza crust. Ah, oh, yes. You know, I need to do that, Wayne. I always make those eggs, the flip-flop eggs, where I, I um, um, do the crack the eggs, put it in the 10-inch fry pan, put my 10-inch tortilla on it, and flip it over. I love that. It has a quick lunch or breakfast in the morning. That is probably one of my favorite things to make right now is the flip-flop um, things uh, where, you, where you get the tortilla and then you cut it in half and you flip, flip, flop, and it's like a nice little triangle. I love that. But the tortillas can be used as a pizza, uh, and you can actually, we can do that right on the, the electric grill and griddle. That's a great idea, Wayne. We can do, um, maybe, uh, maybe we can do that next week do grilled tortillas or quesadillas on the electric grill. Great idea. Y'all are coming up with great ideas for broadcasting. Uh, lots less calories. Yeah, a lot less calories, especially when you use the Olay tortillas. The Olay tortillas are Weight Watcher friendly. They're only like one point versus some of the other ones are up to three points. So I'm like, you know, you know me and my three points. Although, confessions of a foodaholic here. Confessions of a foodaholic. Y'all, who's here? Put a one in the box if you're here. Put a one in the box because I'm going to give you a bad bad thing because I, I, when I stress out, what do I do? What do I eat when I stress out? And I ate it last night. I ate it. I ate it. I ate it. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, yes, one. Mary's still here. All right. I went way over points yesterday. 
way over points. I did good all day until I got home and I started stressing out. Mary got it. Mary got it. I opened up the can of vanilla icing, y'all. Yeah, so good. I think I ate more than half the can. That's a confession of a foodaholic. I'm telling you, the, the um, stress is real. Anxiety is real. All right. And so is eating real. Okay. I love vanilla icing, y'all. It is it is better than chocolate because I had a piece of chocolate too. I, got, I had a couple pieces of chocolate last night. I went from the I went from two pieces of chocolate to like, well, let's open that can of icing and put that spoon in there. Oh yeah. Oh, I have a, quite a lot. Yeah, I'm a weak person. I'm weak. I I agree. I agree. I agree. I, yeah, you know me a long time when what when, when, when Alexis what stress when I stress. I eat the can of icing. I don't know why I have it in there. I think I'm going to like use my Russian tips um, to, to decorate something. And I just opened that thing and I'm like, hmm. it was so good. Y'all. I was going to say the peanut. No, 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 no. Put the, put the spoon in the vanilla icing. Just skip the peanut butter. Peanut butter is really good. I, sometimes I do peanut butter and I, I can OD on peanut butter because one tablespoon of peanut butter is way too many points. And I'm like, but it does have protein in it. So you're doing okay. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, no, I don't do it all the time. I do it probably once every other month. <laughs> Eat the whole can of icing, y'all. Skip the cake. Skip the cake. Skip the cake. <laughs> Boy, he's really good today, isn't he? The copycat person. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> it's not your real name, y'all. <laughs> no big deal, right? He's very interested in what I like, what I, what I say, because he's, he's coming back. And I'm frozen in time again. All right. So anyway, I think I'm all, almost done for today. I don't know what we're even going to put as our final picture. Uh, we may put, use the, the wooden cutting board over there. Uh, we'll put the cu cutting board down. Let's put this, that over there. Let's put this here so I can get my final picture in. Because, you know, final pictures do count. All right. And I love to enjoy talking with everybody today. Uh, oh, you know what? We should use the the, the um the knife block knife block back there. Forget the cutting board. There we go. We got that. That we can flip our thing around. We will put the the cutting board the other way. There we go. I'm setting up my final picture there. All right, there. That egg slicer on the put the egg slicer on the cutting board. Got to rinse it off. Got eggs on it. Rinse it off. Hey, Stephen Harris. Uh, thank you. See you next time. We love you, Alexis. We are such a <laughs> I'm a crazy person, y'all. So anyway, if you're interested in any of the Pamper Chef, please reach out to me. I'd love to get you some Pamper Chef into your kitchen. You can buy it full price. You can get it for a discount or free by hosting your own show. Or you can become a Pamper Chef consultant and then earn it for free. Yeah, and earn it and earn earn a commission, earn points to a trip. Okay, we're trying to earn a trip uh, to either Texas or Puerto Rico this year. Okay. So you can become a pamper chef consultant. So think about it. Who do you know? All right. So this is, this is a big ask of all of you. Since you all aren't, aren't doing the pamper chef thing. Who do you know that needs pamper chef in your life? Send me those, send those people to me saying, Hey, this person, you need this person because she has some great tips and stuff like that. All right. Alexis, all my fellow foodies have a blessed day. Thank you so much. So anyway, please send those people over here. I was so much appreciated. This is my full-time job doing Pampered Chef. And I love, absolutely love teaching you and talking to you about how you can improve your cooking skills or just learn how to cook, y'all. Okay? One thing at a time. One thing at a time. He loves Karen Sue, doesn't he? So anyway, I flip this over. And there we go. All right. I don't think I can get it all in there. Um, There, that's that's about. Oops, maybe we can put the pampered chef over here. Oh, there, PC, PC. There we go. I got my 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 girl leg is in the way. There we go. So if you know somebody that needs a pampered chef, please reach out and tell them, hey, I, I have a person that, that you that you can use, all right? Uh, we did tips on taking care of your wooden products today. We made hard-boiled eggs for our salad for tomorrow, and we talked about everything under the sun, all right? Uh, turn on the light for the PC. And sometimes the light actually um, uh, reflects bad. There we go. There's a light on the PC. Woo! All right, how's that? JFJ. There you go. 
Got it. Got it. <laughs> we can put Alexis back there too. Hey, let's do this. Let's put her up. Put her back there too. Empty spot. There. Oh, I moved you. There. There you go. Final shot. That's great. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So anyway, thanks for coming, everybody. I really appreciate it. And do you take care. I'll see you on somebody else's broadcast. I'm not sure if I'm coming back on today or not. I'm not even sure what we're having for dinner yet. Okay. So have a great Friday and I'll see you on somebody else's broadcast. All right. If not, I'll see you on half Saturday, salad Saturday. Say that a few times. Half salad Saturday. We're still looking for people to sign up for 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. at least. Uh, if you want to go live earlier, we have 6 a.m. available or late at night at 10 o'clock. All right. So have a great day. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.